Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of my 1990s career in the game of 2013. Right, we are in Bahrain and in first place again. Um, so let's see how we go and go straight to the race. So obviously we've been winning quite a few races now since we last started. We even won, Montre even won Montreal um, when we was all the way at the back. Um, so um, considering I'm right at the front from the word go, um, I'm kind of um, expecting to win again. Um, but limitless, let's see if we blow up or something happens, I don't know. And we are off racing. Mantle is in second place. Well, Villeneuve gets into second. Mantle drops down and Irvine takes his place into third. Coming into the first corner. Everyone's following me. Let's follow the leader. But Villeneuve is in second. Oh shit, gone too deep. Cold tyres meant I went way too far into that corner there. Coming up to halfway point now in the first lap. We are leading still with Villeneuve behind with Irvine in third. Here's that tricky corner that I don't like. Field is starting to spread out now. And shit, we've gone off, we've gone off, we've gone off. And there's Irvine. For some reason he couldn't avoid crashing into me. Williams has a, a big target on it. Too much extra fuel we've got. We've got plus two laps in total. Coulthard has moved up to third place in the Williams. There's a bollard in the middle of the road there. Got to make sure that doesn't get stuck in your spoiler. Coulthard is really close behind, but Villeneuve is just firing away there, up the front. And we're doing really bad here at the moment. Considering we were the fastest, this isn't really a performance for first place. Coming down now to the end of the second lap and we retain second place still. Villeneuve is up ahead. Going a bit wide there as you come to the last corner. That's going to give him a bit of an advantage. But Courthard has pulled back. He's gone back. We've just done the fastest lap though, screeching out of that last corner, or the first corner rather. Hard is starting to fall back even more now. But I'm not sure about Vilna, but I'm not sure if he's retaining that lead.
But we, I do believe we are catching up with Villeneuve. He's now in 0.7 seconds ahead. As we come into the fourth lap now. Oh god. And we're off. We're off. Tried to dive bomb on Villeneuve, which obviously backfired. And we are down to last place. Uh, we did have an accident. I wasn't able to hold it, but we've got lots of gravel now eating away our, into our tyres. We're going to have to really focus now. Take it easy on this braking corner because that will easily make your tyres seize. We've got to wait for all this gravel to get off our tyres. Slow car in the way. It's going to have some real racing now. This is just Montreal all over again. And Schumacher is ahead. And the sparks coming off of the back of that car, Jesus. outside and um, we did do a little bump at that as we um, closed so that's a fair enough warning LEC is up next for the ninth position. We're gaining on the car ahead in sector two, sector two. Come on, we've got the slipstream now, we've got the pace as well, so we're coming on the outside. And Berger's up ahead, so we are going to have to try and take him out. Not physically, obviously. But we're going to have to try and take that 8th place, hopefully, before we go into the pits. Dive bomb down the inside, we've got him. But that's now lap 6 of 14. We've still got time to catch up with the rest of the pack because there is a very large gap in between Berger and, or myself now, and 7th place.
going to save the rest of our fuel for the rest of the race. And here we go into the pit lane. Some of the best brakes in the world. There we go into the pit lane. And all the cars are coming in as well. But we are now in 10th place. And we come out as 11th. Felici is behind us in the pits. Gonna be really important this hour lap. Gotta hold it. Cold tyres are not tolerating this kind of speed, unfortunately. You have a four second gap to the car behind. Four seconds. We'll wait for the tyres to warm up. They just started to go green. Now we go into rich mode as we come down onto the next lap. And how many cars are going to be in the pits? That's one, two, three. Only three cars. So there we go. We go back into eighth place. I oh, know we was in seventh before, wasn't we? Shit. Although I'm not entirely sure actually. Either way, this is where we are. And we need to get something out of the bag if we're gonna get back up the front. And we are starting to close the gap with a purple outlap so far. Our data is showing that the car ahead is likely to be running in fuel conservation mode. His times will be slightly slower than normal. And that's probably why we are actually catching up with Cross at the moment. Because he's in fuel conservation mode according to my engineer. But nevertheless we are catching up and you can see just ahead that all the cars are actually bunched up into one nice lump. So if we catch up with Prost then we've got a good chance of using him as our catapult to the rest of the cars with his slipstream. Coming for you, Prost. Da -da 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 -da. Great pace, keep this focus. 
that corner there would have cost us a hell of a lot of time. That was terrible. But we are now in the slipstream, so you've got the sparks coming out the back across the car as we come down the long straight, coming in on the outside, getting ready to go into stand-up mode, cut back on in as we come to the braking zone to get that lovely apex. And that has set us up in seventh place and right behind number six of Schechter. But Villeneuve is still leading this race, I can see via the minimap. Going to rich mode. He goes defensive on the outside. But he gives in. He could have held that. But he gave it in. And I took advantage. Down the long straight, we've got three more laps to go. Did think about doing that, but then I thought he's only going to collide with me and we might get a penalty because we've already got one warning. So we're now sixth out of 12 cars, so we're exactly halfway. I'm sure of you, all of you can work that out unless you're extremely bad at maths, in which case I severely hope you go back to school and learn. Okay, it looks like the car ahead is trying to create a gap. He's running full revs, maximum power. Go for the overtake, go for the overtake. Coming down the long straight, Irvine has got enough speed out of that chicane to get away. Got plus one lap of fuel now, I see how the tyres are doing, that's just they're absolutely fine. Just starting to go a bit amber. But we are now in the back of the Irvine coming into his slipstream, but he's going to have the slipstream with Schumacher, but we are in rich mode and he's still pulling away though. But I've got a better setup, mine's got a higher top speed coming down the outside. Neck and neck coming in, but I've got the inside line on the back of Schumacher's car now. He gets a better cornering out of there because he has a higher downfall step than I do. Going to Rich Road once again. Schumacher's going defensive. Coming down the outside. Got a bit of slipstream, but is it enough to actually take over? Schumacher gives in, but is he going to undercut? Well, 
he's fallen way behind. But he's actually gaining, he's using the slipstream well. And I don't believe that I'm going to have enough to actually catch up with the front runners. I mean, how far away is it to the next car? And there's 6.5 seconds in between me and Mansell. So I don't believe that I'm going to be able to do it in, in one last lap unless one of them makes a mistake which I highly doubt it but they are the front runners they are the competitors and we're just going to go full out rich at the moment being the last lap and all we're just going to go flat out with this extra lap of fuel that we have and see what happens And we are actually on the same straight as them. But is it enough? We knocked it down to two... We knocked down three seconds off that time. That he's in the lead. But it wasn't enough so we come home in fourth place at Bahrain and we did set the fastest time of the race with 134.448 and let's see how this will affect the results not too much I don't think but it's the first time I haven't come first in quite some time so Villeneuve is in first place followed by Nigel Mansell in second with David Coulthard who done really well actually surprisingly who came third and myself in fourth, Michael Schumacher is in fifth with Eddie Irvine in sixth and the rest of the field isn't really competitive so we don't need to worry about that. So in regards to the drivers, Nigel Mansell is 48 points behind and Eddie Irvine falls back with 81 points. Villeneuve stays where he is along with Alain Prost who stays where he is as well. The Constructors is 126 points behind, Ferrari are exactly 150 points behind. So that is it for this episode, um, not really much has changed in regards to the points, we're still leading a lot, uh, oh excuse me, had a burp, we are still leading very far ahead indeed and basically uncatchable because there's only three races left, um, so Nigel Mansell still has a shot of it but for the constructors I highly doubt it and that's it for this episode guys and thanks for watching and see you next time.